Hostile spotted! Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with an alert. Now, I haven't released any videos on the weapons. I've prestiged once, and the reason why I haven't released the videos is because I want to touch each and every one of them, which I have done, to get a good feel for how they work in Black Ops 6. This is an alert, though, because out of all the guns that I've tried, and I've gotten all the assault rifles, for example, to gold at this point, and that'll be coming out later, the Sarkov 7.62, in my opinion, is the best weapon in the game. It is meta. So I wanted to get this out quickly. It's not going to be a detailed look into the Sarkov 762. You can see the configuration down below. Yes, I have eight slots enabled, but bare bones, it was just as powerful. Let's take a quick look at the damage. It is a one shot to the head at 100 health. It is a two shot everywhere else in the body. That's out to 35.6 meters almost almost, well, long shot distance, and damage beyond at up to 71.1 meters is 47. So this thing is a beast. You can look at the numbers on the right. Like I said, I will be going over the Sarkov 762 in detail when I get on my road to dark matter grind to the marksman rifles. I will take us very quickly into the, the shooting gallery so we can have a look at this thing. One, two, yep. And at 105 health to the head, it's a one-shot kill, proving that it's 100 health. So let's take this on to the Field of Honor, this very fast video that hopefully will open your eyes to something significant before they nerf it onto the Field of Honor. See what it did for Grandpa. See what it did to Grandpa's brand new Black Ops 6 enemies. Let's go. All right, let's get into this. Now... If you consider single shot to the head kills, there's not an assault rifle that gives you that. It's going to take multiple shots to the head, especially if you're mixing in body shots. It's a two-shot kill weapon, and it's 200 rounds per minute. I haven't unlocked the rapid fire yet. I know it increases by 11%. But when you compare to the Goblin, which has Mark II, which has the fastest time to kill among assault rifles, I think it may be the worst assault rifle in the game, but who knows? Uh, I've got it to gold, so I have a lot of experience with it. You're going to kill faster than that. In fact, it's an instantaneous hit scan on most maps when you hit the head because it reaches out to 35 meters. I mean, my gosh. So let's see what happens on this close-in face-off map here. Taking a marksman rifle on to face-off. I mean, a, a high-volume engagement map. There are some that marksman rifles can be appropriate, like Gala, for example, or Warhead. This is an in-your-face map that most people are using shotguns and SMGs on. Man, those shotties are really something. They're going to have to do something about that. Very powerful. But you can see, speaking of power, this cast-off... When they say cast-off? <laughs> I'm stuck in Modern Warfare 3. Get back to the future! This Sarkov... 7.62 is a murder machine. You will be serving chips with the guacamole. I don't see how they can let this thing stand. I mean, look at the knifer. It's almost like a shotgun with a 35 meter range. Think about it. Because you can just pull two shots. You can insta-kill up tight and the body damage is 75. So if the enemy is wounded at all then it's going to be one shot now i loaded it up when i was going for the long shot and the double kills i loaded up the magazine with the higher bullet count magazines you don't really need that the the uh, magazine 
factory settings that it comes with, plenty good enough. And we lost there, but my gosh, on that high engagement map, we got a lot of engagements in. Grandpa wasn't really happy with the teamwork there, but what can I say? And I did get the kill cam with this thing. I mean, I'm going against shoddies. I'm going against knifers. I'm going against every manner of trash you can possibly come up with. And still, boom, boom, two shots, dead. yak a mole Alright, and this is to show the long shot configuration. I did get this weapon to gold already. I'll be doing a full video on it. It's a bit slower the way I have it configured here, and I do have a video on the configuration too. But I'm doing the ARs first. And the way I got this, uh, I tried it out, was that I have to wait. When I prestiged, I still needed to get the Model L completed. And I needed to get up to, I think it was, it's at level 40 for the Model L. So I went ahead and tried out a marksman rifle. And this thing is just absolutely amazing. It was amazing. I was so shocked. Like I said, I don't see how they can let this thing stand. I hope they do. Well, I hope you don't use it against me. Let's put it that way. When hope's involved, as long as there's lead in the air, there's hope. That's the fighter pilot mantra. Back when I was training in air-to-air -air combat, the old experienced guys twisting around my tail back there, me finally getting a beat on them, and they said, well, you put some lead in the air, there's hope. You can see this thing at range, almost no recoil. Headshot at range is a one-shot gap. There's a two-shot kill at 38 meters. I mean, are you kidding me? There wasn't a gun in Modern Warfare 3 that did this. I know some of you will say the KVD Enforcer was a headshot machine. It's not as fast. Pulling the trigger is not as fast. And this thing runs at six meters per second. You're moving around the map with a movement speed at 6 meters per second, 3.1 meters per second, bouncing side to side, aim walking movement speed. And there's a double kill for the camo. I don't know what's happened with that guy. Oh, he came around and gacked poor old grandpa. That's elder abuse. So, like I said, this is an early game alert. Get it while you can. If you're going to get your Dark Matter camo, I recommend ranking this thing up, getting it done. As soon as you hit level 20, look at the long shot there. Any map, that's what's great about this game. Any map, there's a long shot. So, let me know what you've discovered, if there's something that just amazed you. And as always, a like and subscribe helps me, helps the family. The channel's growing nicely. We've met a lot of nice people. Try it. Let me know how you do with the Sarkov 7.62. Cheers and peace to you. Have fun with Black Ops 6.